the record button. It's fine. All right, we're being recorded now. <laughs> um, all right, so we'll go ahead and get started. A lot of you are on schedules, so it's good to see everybody. Um, I just, you know, again, this is the open open meeting. Next week is really the next week is really the more formal meeting. Um, I did have one thing that I wanted to bring up with respect to uh, goal setting. So we're having the chaos board meeting on Thursday of this week. And one of the things that I put on the agenda was setting goals for the chaos project. And I know that the DNI work group has been working on their goals for 2019, mm -hmm. which is super great. Um, and I'm hoping that Sean over in the growth maturity and decline work group. We can do that. Yep, could can work on goals. Topic for next, tomorrow. Yep, because I, I really, from my perspective, I really like the idea of the work groups as they set goals, kind of driving the goals of the project overall, mm -hmm. as opposed to the other way, which is the project setting goals and then the work groups have to <laughs> back into back into that. I think we've clearly set up this project where the work groups have um, the necessary autonomy to make the decisions that they feel are relevant to the work that we're doing. And personally, I believe chaos as a project should support that. So, so there's my little, there's my two cents. I'm going to say the same two cents. <laughs> <the board meeting. laughs> um, so, so yeah, Sean, if you could, you don't have to finish them tomorrow or anything, but if you could at least just get them started. I'll make sure that we send a note out and that that's part of the agenda tomorrow. Okay. Um, and I don't think the DNI group, I don't think you're done. Are you? Done. Goals done. No, I'm just <laughs> what? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> we just, no, we just started talking about it for the first time. Okay. Kind of this week. We started okay. on the goals for 2020 already. <laughs> no, you haven't. I don't believe that. <laughs> Um, all right, so that's that was one item for me. Um, I think that was honestly that was about it for me. Draft goals. I still have my work that I need to do on the metrics page. I, I just haven't issued the pull request, so I I don't know. Basically, it's a redesign of the metrics page to be more. Um, um, to really just kind of capture all of the metrics broadly, but to really point to the work of the working groups more directly. So, because right now, I think I've mentioned this every time and I have yet to issue the pull request, right? So DNI has their focus areas and growth maturity and decline has their focus areas. And to me, those really represent what the metrics are right now in those areas and the metrics repository kind of signals something else something other than that. And it doesn't make much sense to me for us to have both of those repositories trying to articulate metrics. We should just have one. And why even create a copy? Just point to the source as far as I'm concerned. So, to me, the less information we can have on the repository, the better. To be honest with you, there's already a lot of noise on there. And anytime we can trim, I think is beneficial to somebody coming into the repository. Um, yeah, right. I, I had a phone conversation right before this call where I was talking to the co-founder of Ovio, who just wanted to know more about chaos and the metrics work that we do for his yep. work. And I, right now, I just sent two links, one to each work group. It would be good to have one page that outlines it overall, combines it again. Yep. Because then you could just send them somebody to the metric page and they could say, here's the link to the work going on in the DNI group. Here's the work going on. Does it make sense to have a shallow, empty metrics repository anymore? I'm if thinking we, maybe we can just have a website like we have one for the software that uh -huh. links out to the four projects to have a metrics page that links out to the two repositories. Maybe that's a fair question. Um, that's a fair question. I think, yeah, because right now, basically what I'm doing in the fork 
is that all that's left on the metrics page is that long list of the long activity metrics list. That's it. That's all that's left for all intents and purposes. So that is a pretty shallow page. Maybe we just could, how about this? Maybe I'll issue the pull request that is that, and then Ben will be on that one. You know what I mean? And then we can have the discussion over there. How's that sound? Does that work? Gayward? Yep, and then the readme might be what turns into the website. Okay. Yep, okay, sounds good. Okay, okay. Um, so, and then my final thing was, as I mentioned, there's a board meeting coming up on Thursday. So if there's anything that anybody on this call would like to, to ask that we bring up to the board, that was a good time, as any. <laughs> Silence I will actually take as nothing. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, cool. If something strikes you, just send me a note and I'll, it's a pretty tight, tight agenda and I think we only have an hour anyway, so. And in trust, believe me, we talk about pretty much everything, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know what you think. I mean, in the interest of like transparency, we could probably share the agenda with the with the community and yeah, send it to the mailing list and say this is going to be the proposed topic. And yeah, you have uh, yeah, I mean, like you said, I think like I mean, you sent an email out to the board uh, a couple of days ago. It, yeah, it looks pretty full, and I don't think any any of one of them are going to be any surprises. But no, okay, yeah, I, mean, this, I like transparency. So I can yeah. send them to the list. Okay, cool. All right. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Ray, you just mentioned uh, emails sent out to the board list. I just sent it out to members, the board members. The correct? chaos, oh, just, just directly, because there is a governing board mailing list called chaos-members and looking at the archive it's been silent since august yeah i just sent i just went name by name okay google google, google auto filled it for me and that was faster than trying to remember what the board mail list was called <laughs> okay well in the interest of transparency <laughs> if I could encourage the governing board members to use the mailing list I can do that <laughs> <laughs> how about this I'll send it up I got you know the other thing is I'll go look at the membership on that list too that may not be updated yep so I could update that membership and then send out the final agenda to that board list kind of with a cross post to the main list okay all right I can do that too Yep. I sent the link yep. to the repos uh, to the archive. I'll, the chat. I'll chat. I'll check who's in that list. Perfect. Okay, cool. All righty. Um, cool. If anybody has updates, wants I yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing Don probably will cover this at this point to see how many submissions we got for ChaosCon. I believe the deadline was yesterday. But. It was it was yesterday. So that was that that's really my update for for today. So we had um, I think it was 18 oh, submissions. Great. Let me just uh, let me just double check. Um, that's really so, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So that was that was good. Yeah. 18. Um, and so they're kind of a mix of panel sessions, um, regular sessions, and uh, tutorials, and a few lightning talk submissions. Do we have um, um, the time to do all of them? Uh, no. No. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and some people submitted multiple proposals. So, okay. um, but the ones that we don't accept as regular sessions, we'll probably okay. offer them a lightning talk. Okay typically what we would do. Okay. So we're going to work on, um, we're going to work on talk selection. Hopefully this week I was just putting together the voting doc for the people who are on the um, chaos con organizing committee to um, vote on the proposals. Okay. 
and uh, hopefully we can find some time to meet this week and or next early next week and make the final decisions. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. That's great. 18 is a lot. Is it a day? It's a day. It's a day. Yeah. Okay. So we'll, um, I'm trying to remember what we had in, I was going to look and see what we had in North America. We had, um, cause we had morning sessions and then afternoon workshops. So we had, let's see, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven talks, a panel, some lightning talks, and then, um, four workshops. Okay. Did you do so, workshops this one too? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, this one will actually, I suspect, be a bit, it might be a little bit shorter because a lot of people are flying in in the morning. So we're not starting, I think, quite as early as we did okay. in, in Vancouver. So I think there'll be a few um, less regular talks, but that's okay. what we'll have to fix, sort out as a, as a committee. Well, overall, that's good news. Yeah. It's nice to yeah. see. Okay. Yep. Yeah, um, awesome. The only, the only downside to it is that there there weren't a ton of um, shall we say diverse uh, speakers proposals from from people from underrepresented populations. So uh, so that's something we're also going to need to to think about. Okay. Sounds good. Alrighty. Uh, thanks. Yeah. What Sean, Daniel, hi Ildico, join hi Ildico. And people have this, you know, these don't have to be long. <laughs> these are just touch bases. You think earth shaking? Anybody's mind? All right. Um, Again, I take silences. <laughs> I got other things going. to do. <laughs> smooth like, sailing. If it's smooth sailing, I think things yeah. seem to be going pretty well right now. Um, so work seems to be getting done, which is pretty cool. Um, anyway, any DNI or uh, GMD updates that are worth putting out there? I, I didn't make either meeting last week because of the holidays, so I don't yeah. know if there was anything that happened. I, don't, I didn't. I saw a note for the regular meeting, but we didn't. We didn't actually meet for GMD. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. I... No, we're working on the goal setting for next year, as you already said. Okay. To to me, I'll just say this: one of the exciting things that's coming out of potentially coming out of DNI is a way to start. So they have the met they have the focus areas and then they have the metrics within the focus areas. And thinking about ways to capture the metrics within the focus areas via GitHub, via kind of a workflow system of GitHub. So, um, so for example, there's a lot of data out there um, that is difficult to capture via trace data, via tools or something like that. So for example, participating in a, in a panel at a conference. And so how do you get credit for that? Um, and thinking they're kind of just, I think what's going on in DNI that, that I'm really excited about is they're thinking about ways that you can begin to capture those things. I think capturing that information is really tricky. And so one, at least the way I'm understanding it, you could all tell me I'm not understanding it right in DNI, but the way I'm understanding it is that if somebody presents um, on a panel, that they would have the opportunity to submit that, say, as an issue to a repository and maybe capture things that way, right? Or, or well, not. I, what you're talking about is the 24 pull requests project right. specifically. Yep, and but I'm thinking be a little beyond that, like how other communities could think about it. Yeah, I heard from an Apache project. I yet have to figure out what the name is, and they are using Jira to track hours spent on all kinds of contributions. So that okay. is something I still wish to figure out which project that actually is. That sounds similar, though. Yep. The kind of capturing this out of band work, mm -hmm. and and ways to to capture it, I think we have to capture it via the existing workflow systems that are out there. And so whether it's JIRA 
or GitHub or something like that. Yep. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm really excited about that because I think one of the challenges for the chaos project is one, not only kind of creating these focus areas and then the metrics within them, but then also seeing them put into practice, which is mm -hmm. also really great. Um, I don't know, it's just my thought. I agree. What was this you posted, Georg? I was interviewed because oh, yeah. I'm part of the Open Leaders. That's the email I sent out, I think, yesterday. Yep. And so the blog post is now live. Cool, thanks. I know all, I know so many people. <laughs> <laughs> all right, great. Uh, cool. All right, well, you know, I think We'll have some updates with the board meeting again next week. Kind of the work groups be be ready for maybe a bit more formal because that's our monthly. So if that's it for everybody. Then I'm good. That works for me too. Cool. All right. All right. Next, next other work. All right. <laughs> Later. Next, all right. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.